Hello and good afternoon teachers. Now welcome one again. Parang kakagabi lang, nakagagaling lang po natin dito sa ating live stream na sa ating uh, 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 YouTube sa ating community, kay uh, learning sessions, okay? Pero teachers, uh, this really actually have been uh, like a long overdue collaboration, okay? So we decided to push through no despite not uh, being not anymore no having really no Thursday schedules for our webinar. So it na po yung atin actually last Thursday schedules no kapag meron tayong mga series, okay? Pero si sabi ko sa inyo teachers no, sulit at magiging sulit po no ang inyong uh, time uh, that you will be dedicating no, and you will be spending with us today. Okay, so before we start teachers, let me first uh, greet our teachers in the chat no, na napakaaga pong nagparamdam at nagstay no sa ating chat no. Okay, uh, of course nandiyan na ang aga-aga at 3:05 PM no, Teacher Jeffrey Beltran. Good afternoon. Okay, um and welcome back no. I think sobrang busy rin ni Teacher Jeffrey kasi I think um almost eh, as uh, end of the school year din sila ngayon ano. Okay? Uh, teacher Alan Brutas always here. Okay? Uh, teacher Manuel Ferrer, email the uh, teacher email the publico. Teacher Jason Borlasa, Teacher Desiree Dino, parang mga kagabi rin to. Teacher Regina Rose Rigidor, Teacher Hitish Kumar Sharma, Teacher Annie Rose Rojas, Teacher JV Zarate, Teacher Rosie Rose, Yosores, okay? uh, Learning uh, Orama, okay, good afternoon. Maximo Sablay, Napoleon Torsilino, VJ Valerio, Teacher M.A. Abigan, ayan, okay, Teacher Joji Asuncion, Teacher Marjorie Manalang, Teacher Ivy Reblando, Teacher Annabel M. Rolye, okay? um, Teacher 03 Godot, okay? Teacher Napoleon, uh, mentioned already, Marian Vlogs, okay? Teacher Edna Makauyag, Teacher Dadabogs, yeah? Teacher Dadabogs na naman, ha? Teacher Paul Dulay, okay? Teacher Jeneline Carvalho, Teacher Leosel Villantes, JP Silhay, uh, Teacher Gemma Rivera, Rolinda Borja, Teacher May Baisa Versosa, Teacher Jesus Junior Katangi, I think no um Teacher May no if I'm not mistaken no, um uh, your school is looking for um uh, faculty members okay so please post Miss uh, May in the chat no the link where teachers can inquire about that okay so you can check the opening in uh, Miss May's school. Okay, napakaganda po dyan. Okay, one of the best schools also uh, in Metro Manila. Okay, Teacher Iris Marquez, Teacher Max Velasquez, Teacher Chari Christine Pinaflor, Teacher Dean Clifford Huame, Teacher Dory Edulag, Teacher Beverly Joy Kuahao, Teacher Carlo Bagayao, Teacher Carlo, welcome back. Mukhang busy tayo. Uh, teacher Danilo Ekat Jr., Teacher Selshon. Wow, Teacher Selshon Watson, parang ngayon lang ulit tayo nagkita dito. Ah. Okay, anong meron po? Okay, siguro mas, mas ulag tayo ngayon, no? kasi pabakasyon na tayo. Oh, Teacher Susmita Albaitar, Teacher Hakoven Galupo, Teacher Jeline Palmes, okay, Teacher Sherry Ann Nicanor, Teacher Kimber Kimberly Villena, Teacher Faye Nagum, Teacher Maximo Sablay from Mozambique. Okay. Teacher Jeneflo Official. Teacher Alan Espinosa. Teacher Lourdes Basa. Teacher Nida Escarlan. And Teacher Sara Ental. Teacher Marie Greg, uh, Chris Bakatan. Teacher Rosabel Magmanlak. No? Good afternoon po at magandang magandang hapon po sa inyong lahat. And welcome to our session, learning session for today. So our learning session po natin for today is actually very, very important. Very, very crucial no? uh, for us teachers. No? Kasi ako rin, personally speaking no okay uh, isa rin to sa mga struggle ko as a teacher okay of course no kasi and this is also what that one of the things that I'd like uh, our parents no and our students would should be able to realize no that teaching is not just about getting in front okay of your students regardless if it's online or on site no um there's so much uh, things no happening before you even face your class okay you you write lesson plans you design lesson plans you uh, you 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 meet no uh, with your teammates or with your uh, department heads okay to plan out your 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 curriculum etc all of this so many things okay um so many things no happening uh, before you even face your class, okay? So this sometimes, no, uh, that's what our students do not actually see and realize, no, how much work it actually takes for a teacher, okay, to actually get in front of his or her students, okay, uh, to deliver a lesson, okay? And part of that, okay, is actually that development of instructional materials, no? It it takes so much time, no? The worksheets, the PowerPoint presentations, okay, and all other materials that we have to prepare in order to 
to engage our students in order to transfer learning in on in order to to communicate information or content with our students okay so and daming nangyayari kaya what what we will be trying to discuss today no is to present with uh, to you, to all of you no a platform no uh, that that um actually promotes no the development of instructional materials and actually sharing of instructional materials so that we can eliminate no somehow okay hindi pa mawawala talaga pero somehow we can reduce the time of our teachers no being spent in developing instructional materials okay um it could be just um i don't know um getting what they can okay and of course no um they can still of course develop no? you're, you're always more than welcome to still develop of course instructional materials pero part of the reason what why we uh, we have this session for today is to also give you an alternative okay to show you that there might be some options no for you to lessen the time that you uh, take no or that you use uh, to develop um uh, instructional materials okay but of course no we will not like um when we say minimize or reduce doesn't mean that we're going to also minimize or reduce the quality because uh despite of reducing your time in developing your instructional materials you will still get the instructional materials of high quality okay of course we want that so that you can spend your time okay in actual teaching in actual uh i don't know um um facilit uh, facilitating of learning okay or um designing learning for your students okay to actually be with your students giving feedback etc okay so all of those things you can now do because there's less time being used in developing instructional materials and that's what we're going to have for today okay so teachers uh for today um will be a uh, meeting no uh, will be um seeing no a platform okay called twinkle okay i i i know no, that some of you uh, many of you already have um uh, um uh, encountered no because i know uh, last time no we already have a session with twinkle in the class point community so, so mga class point community members po at dito malamang uh, nakilala niyo na or nakita niyo na si, si twinkle no okay so that's also one of the things we're going to uh, what one uh, the, the platform no we're going to meet today okay and of course later on no, in our conversation we're also going to talk about the tips and tricks no on how to better develop instructional materials okay so just ano lang, no, just an information for everyone okay twinkle is a uk education resource okay brand who aims to help those who teach uh, their global expansion okay gave birth to twinkle philippines okay which aims to provide high quality teacher created learning materials and resources for children's 0 to 14 okay teachers and parents can now have access to over 750 printables activities ebooks games assessments lesson plans presentations and more with thousands of resources added every month and i believe okay, they're starting to start to develop no and and start to think no about developing okay um instructional materials that are in the context of the Philippines because of course medyo um marami pa rin sa mga materials nila no since it's a UK education resource based no uh, brand okay marami sa kanila resources are foreign in origin pero of course no, these foreign origin resources are are still universally uh, uh can be used no across different subjects okay in different countries okay pero of course we're looking forward to those to that to those materials, okay, that will be uh, in the context of the Philippines. Okay, so teachers, before I welcome no, and before we have into the, to our stream uh, our guest speaker for today, our invited uh, guest speaker for today, let me first introduce uh, her to you, okay? And probably she's not someone new, no, because again, um, she already um, spoke several times in different um, communities, platforms, Etc. Okay. So for today's um, um, speaker, so we have Miss uh, Chris uh, Shesoiko, uh, graduated with a degree of BS Educational Psychology from De La Salle University. She has been teaching for nine years, okay, and has served as the head of special education needs in one of the British schools here in Manila. At present, she is an early uh, years and special needs teacher, chair of Senya Manila chapter, and the country manager of Twinkle. Philippines. Let us welcome into our stream Miss Chris Sesoiko. Miss Chris, good afternoon. Hi, good afternoon, good afternoon everyone. everyone. Thank you so much, Franco, for that very, very warm welcome. And I appreciate seeing everyone again here. So a lot of familiar names and familiar faces, actually. So shout out to my Twinkle Ambassadors, Jeff, Alan, and Carl. I think they're here. So thank you so much for the invite. 
And yes. um, actually, <laughs> I'm just really overwhelmed with while you're saying all of those things because it's actually it's true. And the story that I end up with Twinkle is because I worked at the British school, as you mentioned, and I have been a Twinkle user since 2010. So, ibig sabihin, during sa la- buong taon na na- from 2010 up to the present, I have been a Twinkle user and it has made my life so much easier. So that's why it makes perfect sense that when Twinkle came here to the Philippines, I was literally, hey, I can do this. I've been sharing Twinkle to a lot of parents and teachers and friends. With I'm, I'm not even part of Twinkle, but because it has helped me give my life back, it makes sense to share it with other teachers as well. That's why when I found out about this project and our target market really, I, I emphasize it to them that we need to help the public school teachers because they're they're overloaded. I mean, okay naman, we're helping everyone. But you do know that the public sector is really clamoring for help right now. And at the same time, we have a lot of teachers who need resource materials, who don't have time. That's why it, this is a perfect opportunity for me to share all of these things that I've learned so far. So even though I've been a user for quite some time, Franco, I have to be honest, there are things that I'm still discovering right now. And... Because, you know, they're continuously evolving. Twinkle continuously evolves. They come up with new things. So I'll discuss it later on. But basically, what's going to happen is I'm just going to share with you the three things that I think would be very relevant with your topic, which is, you know, coming up with instructional materials for different modalities. And then at the same time, it would allow teachers the flexibility on how they want to go about their their hybrid uh, classroom setup or or home teaching setup. So, and if there if there would be any questions, I'd gladly answer them if I can. And if I can't, I'd be very honest. Uh, I'd get back to you with, with you know, facts from the product owners themselves. So we're very open to that. And yeah, there, I'm just really excited <laughs> to share everything right Chris, now. No? And of course, we <laughs> can announce, okay? Baka lang mga teachers natin, no? okay? Teachers, okay? Also, please expect, no, that uh, some of you here, okay, um, 20, I think, no, 20, uh, 20, um, participant, ano, no, live viewers to be exact, no, will actually be winning some prizes, no, some uh, premium accounts, okay, from Twinkle Philippines, okay? So, um, please, um, just wait for that, no, for announcements and for the um, activities of Miss Chris later. So, Miss Chris, okay, um, I think we're ready to share your screen, okay? So, okay. while Miss Chris is preparing um, her, sc- uh, her screen, no, okay, let me just remind everyone, that this is a uh, certified session. So you'll also be getting a certificate after the session, no? uh, after um, answering the evaluation. But please do give me uh, five to seven days no, to process your uh, your certificates because we have uh, multiple events happening no? and uh, I have to pace out no, sending certificates to everyone. I hope that's okay. Okay. So again, sabi nga ni Ms. Chris kanina is that I also have to get my life back. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> yes. And I think that's what really struck me and Ms. Chris no, sa message mo kanina is that really, no, our teachers no really have to have time for their, mm-hmm. themselves as well. Okay. Um. So having this kind of platform that you have, okay, definitely will help our teachers. Okay. okay. So Ms. Chris, um, your screen is not yet in the backstage. I think baka nawala yung pagkakashare okay. sa kanya kanina. There you go. Yeah. Okay. It's now so it's uh, can you see loading? it? Yes, I can see it now. Okay. Okay. So right. I'll just do it. Um, it's it the incognito window. Are we okay yes. with that? Okay, yes. So um, I'll share it now. So... Okay, so your screen <laughs> is live now, Miss Chris. Good luck, and uh, teachers, I'll see you in the chat. I'll be there uh, chatting with you. Okay, so welcome to the incognito window, and the reason why it's like that is because I'm going to, sh- I'm going to show you how to access your Twinkle account. So before, before I get to anything else, I just like to let you know, the background that I'm coming from is I'm from the private school sector. So there might be things that might not be applicable in the public school sector or in your schools. So ang mahalaga is you take away what you can. And if you have suggestions with other teachers or kung kanino man on how to make things better, the experience better, feel free to do so. And I've been teaching earlier, so that's preschool. And at the same time, elementary for special needs. So that's from early years to elementary. So that's the, the, the limit of my experience. And I'm sure there are more experienced teachers there. So later on, finding out how you can utilize the current resources that we're offering for you would be very good. Because it would help uh, teachers na walang experience sa field na yon to expand their knowledge. So right now, what I'm sharing is what has been useful for, with, uh, for me in the course of my teaching. And I'm also going to try my best to to be as um, 
practical as I can. Okay? But I'd have to teach you exactly how it's going to use and kung paano nyo gagamitin, nasa sa inyo na yun. Kasi tayo namang teachers, we're very creative to begin with. Okay? So, nag-incognito window ako because I'm going to show you how to access the Twinkle website. Kasi kapag regular user ka na and you access your Twinkle website, it's going to look different. So, well, I'll just be typing twinkle.com.ph and then when I click that one, right over there, it's going to load and you'll see this. So basically, if you're going to come up with a free account, which is wala pong bayad kasi free account siya, you're just going to type in your email, whatever's useful for your email, and at the same time, type in the password that you like, and then you're in. That's it. Okay? Now, if I am already a regular user, ganito yung makikita nyo sa screen. Okay? This one. So even if I'm already logged out, Ito pa rin yung makikita, which is yung usually na ginagamit ko. So right now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to log in. And it's, you know, it's already saved. This is this is the email that I've, syempre, share ko na yung personal email ko. Huwag niyo ako email chat. But this is the email that I've been using since way, way, way back I started using Twinkle. And so the data that I have over here is kind of, it's, it's kind of rich, okay? Okay, wait. Okay. So I'm going to log in. Oh, nakasign, nakasign in na pala ako. There. So, welcome to the Twinkle homepage, uh, user homepage. Kasi if hindi ka nakasign in, you'd look dif it's going to look different. But if you, you're already a member, whether you're a premium member or a, or a free member, ito yung makikita nyo. So, if ever you get lost, I'm just going to show you quickly on how, how you will navigate the site. I've had this similar talk with uh, with class point but for some who have who have not heard of this i'm going to do a quick run through of how you navigate through your website so first if you need to go back home you just click twinkle and this brings you right back over here okay next one is if again if you need to go back home just click this one and it takes you right back where you are now if you click my account you would see these these details in terms of your yeah, personal password or whatever it is now if i want to go back home again i just click the twinkle twinkle logo on the side and i'll go back there now some interesting parts over here will go to the top is membership now this one is where you will find your membership status so if you click here you would see that I am a paying, I'm still a paying customer until now, even though I'm already with Twinkle. But these are the products that Twinkle has that is included in the membership. So remember, we have two kinds of membership, the ones that are free and the ones that, that's paid. So obviously, if you're in the free account, you have a certain number of freebies that you get, around 40,000 resources, and there's a limit in terms of downloads. But if you are an ultimate member, then you get all of these. And the cool thing about this one, I would actually emphasize this, in other countries, they're paying per product. But for us, all of these things, like everything that you see here, it's just one payment per month. You know, ganun lang siya, ganun siya kasulit for the Philippines. Okay, so now that you know that uh, what your membership status is, I'd like to take you to the globe over here. Now, why is this very important? Okay, you have to choose your career because it actually allows the site to give suggestions that is tailored fit to your profession. So if you're a parent, ang lalabas na mga suggestions pagbalik mo sa homepage would be about the about you know your parent worksheets, parent activities, all of those all of those things. But if you're a preschool teacher, the suggestions that they will be giving you is going to be based on you know preschool teachers. So it can be assessments, it can be lesson plans, and so on and so forth. And you know you can actually change the language. So kung gusto niyo siyang gawing uh, Filipino, pwede siyang gawin. That's Filipino. That's it. Although you know we're in terms of uh, in terms of the translations, we're still working on fixing the others. But basically, this is how it looks like if you're if you're translating it to Filipino. Pwede naman. And it can also translate it to other languages if you want to. Okay. Now we'll go back to English. Okay. Now, after that, so you would see what you've recently viewed. So kung nakalimutan nyo yung resource that you're trying to download before, pwede nyo tingnan. This is a recently viewed. 
And if, you know, dahil nga sinabi ko na ilagay niyo yung career, very important for suggestions, you can see that members with similar careers downloaded. So makakakuha ka in a way ng tips sa ibang teachers with what they're using and you need to actually get ideas from them. Ah, okay, another preschool teacher download this. I actually missed this one out. This is actually a good activity that I can do for my class. So it's really helpful when you do that because it kind of sets the trend uh, on what you need. And kami... On the back end of Twinkle, it is very important for us to see what you need based on based on the downloads. So, kung nakikita namin na, okay, mas marami kang stories sa dina download for this certain level, we'll make more stories for you. So, everything on the back end of Twinkle is data driven. That is why it's very important that you, I would emphasize, that you download from the site. So, we will know what you exactly need. Now, we would have the recommendations over here, just like what I mentioned. That, you know, if you select the career, we will recommend the one that's aligned with your career. Mine's kind of messed up. Okay, don't mind the suggestions. Because I hop from, you know, from 0 to 18 materials because of the samples that I'm making. So, syempre, this is ano, algebra. It's not for preschool. So, I, I'm just really downloading all varied levels and things. Okay, that's why. So here, over here, you'll also see the topics in the calendars that we have. So may it be local events or international events, it's going to be here. For the Philippines, we're still working on completing it. But eventually, we will be able to complete this. And there will be activity suggestions that you can use for your class. Para hindi na rin kayo mahirapan maghanap. Okay? And there, that's about it for that part. Now, if you scroll up to the bottom, you would see that the different products that we have. And baka hindi nyo pa siya na explore But if I'm just going to show you how it looks like. If you click one tab, okay, you would see all of these things. So primary is elementary, secondary is high school, and parents. And if parents would be, of course, parents. And then if you click ito, iba-ibang products na pwede nyo gamitin. If you're a teacher, you can use it in the classroom. If you're a teacher and a parent at the same time, it's going to be very helpful. One thing that I'm sure you haven't seen is we actually have Twinkle Party. So it means... Party needs. You haven't, I'm sure you haven't seen this. And if you are planning to throw, throw a surprise for your colleagues or your friends or your, your co teachers, you can get stuff from here. Very useful stuff. So uh, I'm saying that t please take time to dive into the resources that we have because Twinkle is not just printables and worksheets. We have a lot of things. Meron pa tayong food and recipes if you haven't taken time to take a look at that. We have that as well. And at the same time, we have craft, crafts and board games. And really, if you can think of it, if you're not sure kung meron tayo, just type in the search bar and you'll be able to find them. All right? So if you scroll further down, you would see the, the curriculum that we have available. So eventually, magkakaroon tayo ng Philippines here. Okay? Which is why we will be needing your help to determine which one sang uunahin namin. Again, if you're downloading things from Twinkle, please download it directly from the site so we would know kung ano unahin. Okay, so going back to the side, we have uh, the membership. Uh, we've already clicked that a while ago, so we'll just go back to the main menu. And then, Twinkle Cares. So what does Twinkle Cares actually? This is a hotline Okay, for the teacher. So if you have any questions, you can just email email them or get in touch with them. If hindi ko magandang resource, if my problem is a resource, if you see that there's an error in the resource, you can actually report it. And because, you know, we are collaborative in nature. So as teachers kayo, teachers kayo, you would know what's best for your kids. And kami, as the one creating and helping you with it, we also want to improve on it for you. Because at the end of the day, it will work well if you're getting what you need and you're getting what's for your children and you're getting what you want, basically. So, kung may kailangan kayo, resource requests or anything else, you can contact Twinkle Cares. Kung may mali, kung may hindi gumagana, just contact Twinkle Cares as well. And you know that it's just on the side. Okay? Nasa side lang yung button. Now, there is a part here that's what we call the saved resources. This is going to be very useful later on. So, I'm going to click on save resources. Now, this is really cool because the save resources actually allows you to save resources that you'll think it's uh, best for your class. And the cool thing is you can create different folders. So if you click the folder and kunyari, you are, you are teaching math and yung 
math na hawak mo would be section 1 to 10, grade 1 and 2. So, syempre, magulo yun. Syempre, gusto mo iba-iba kayo ng resources for each for each level. Iba for grade 1, iba for grade 2. So, you can do, kunyari, math grade 2 and create a resource, uh, create a folder for that, okay? And then you just, you just have to wait for the page to refresh. And then, just add another folder. Math grade 1. Okay? And that's it. Now that you have your folders over there, while you are browsing, pwede mo nang idagdag at isave yung material dun sa folder. Now that I have, you know, these things that I've already downloaded, I can actually click select here. Okay, I'll click click this and one and then add it to whatever group that I that I want to add it. See, usually, when we are browsing and when we are lesson planning, and dami natin nakikita na okay, okay ito sa class ko. So I'm going to show you actually how to save it right now so let's see let's say i'm looking for cbc activities so again dinamit ko tong nasa taas this is the search bar because usually uh, since we don't have the philippine curriculum in here yet what we're going to do is just type in what you need okay kung anong subject kung anong topic kung anong year level pwede niyo siyang i-type and if you want to filter in the age ulitin ko pwede dito sa gilid so for me, CVC kasi is usually preschool and kindergarten. So I can click both of these, right? Now, I want the CVC clip cards, okay? And then, I'll click save. And once it's, when I click save, I can add it to the folders already, okay? So syempre, wala akong, wala akong, ano dyan, wala akong uh, phonics here. So hindi ko siya save anywhere. I can just go back to the main menu over here and I'll create a new for folder and it's uh, phonics. Okay. All right. And then I'll just refresh the page. And then I'll save it and add it to phonics. There. And the cool thing about this is if you want to be reminded that you have th this resource, pwede niyang ipadala sa email mo. So hindi ko na bubuksan yung email ko kasi <laughs> I know maraming mga things na nasa email. I'll just show this one to you and you can try it yourself naman if, even if you're on a free account. So Kunyari, I want to be reminded on June 24th, okay, over here. So that's tomorrow and then 2022, okay. Then it's going to arrive on my email that I have this resource. So just in case makalimutan ko. So while you're browsing, you can just keep on saving and saving and saving. And as, as long as you think that it's relevant for your kids, you can click and then save. And then it, you can click and then save it again. Okay, so that's that's it in terms of the things that you can save. Okay, right, that's it. And then when you refresh it over here, you'll see it. Phonics, when I click phonics, and these are the resources that I have. So you can do the same thing when you're planning and when you're doing your uh, when you're doing your preparations for your class for what whatever level. And to just to get to just um let you know that the resources that we have is from 0 to 18. So I, when I started with Twinkle, I thought it was only 0 to 14 because usually I just stay within that within that age group. But I found out that they're already starting to make materials for older children. So we do have until 18 years old. And even if hindi siya swak pa sa age group na meron, you can always adapt it and you know tweak it a little bit. Uh, that will be perfect for your age group. Okay? So... Now we're going to go back to the menu on the side. So, okay, so you'll see the saved resources and then you also see the My Download. So, so far, these are the things that I have downloaded and that I have prepared for you. And this one I used in my lesson a while ago. Okay, there. So now going back to our homepage, we are going to take a look at this one. Okay, now you know that I'm an ultimate member. Underneath that would be would be the Twinkle collections. And this is this is uh, I can say the exciting parts. Okay. <laughs> Major boarding paying simula kasi just the parts of the website, but then it's very essential for you to move around it so it's easier for you to look things. So so here, the Twinkle collections that we have, Madame Sha, but we're only going to be focusing on two things. And we're going to start with we're going to start with Twinkle Go. Okay. Now, what is actually Twinkle Go? Ano ba siya? Okay. So, Twinkle Go is an, an is an interactive
platform where you can, you know, let your, your children play, whether they're in the classroom or they're at home. So the best way for, for you to know is I'm going to show you a short clip on what Twinkle Go is and how it can help you in your classroom. It's part of the Twinkle website where children can watch videos and interact with games and it's a completely safe platform for them to interact with. Everything in one place that a teacher can need. You can develop lessons there, you can let the children browse and not be worried about what they might be seeing. And yeah, it's a great tool for the classroom. Access to Twinkle Go gives you incredible games, animations and audio resources. All perfect for mixing with other Twinkle resources and everyday learning activities. You can use Go resources to support other activities in your class's learning, adding variety, fun and extra engagement. Plus, you can send and share Twinkle Go resources to your children and custom groups, providing access through personal child logins to Twinkle, so they can see the games and videos you're sharing in class or remotely at home. Twinkle Go is included as part of Twinkle's ultimate bundle, why not find out more? Okay, so Twinkle Go basically is a, a place where you can download games and so on and so forth. And the cool thing about this is it's you don't have to print out on anything as long as you have a phone or a tablet. So may it be iPad or regular tablet, <clears throat> as long as you have Google Chrome, you'd be able to use uh, Twinkle Go. Okay, so now if you're going to look over here, right on the top, we have the different age groups. But I just have to say that, you know, the Twinkle Go resources are quite limited as at the moment because it takes time to develop these games. But even though even though it's limited, you can already utilize what we have. Okay, so if we're, if we're going to click on zero to five, you would see that these are the ones for early years foundation stage or preschool level, as we call it, or kindergarten here in the Philippines. And you'd see that we have different subjects on the side, okay? Now, I'm going to click one and show you how a Twinkle Go activity or game is used. So usually, pag launch, that's Twinkle Go. When I click that, it's just so exciting because it's so cute, okay? Okay, so we'll try, um, let's do number races. Choose a monster. What monster? Mm. If I can see the chat box on the side, I'd ask you which monster to choose. But since I can't see it, I'll just choose by myself. I will choose this. Uh, choose you choose a car. And I'll choose this one. Click the button that shows six. Okay. I'm okay, okay, I found six. Right over there. Click the button that shows eight. eight. Where's eight? Where's eight? Okay, there you Click go. Click the button that shows seven. seven. <laughs> So, syempre, I'm really counting and I'm ako mismo engaged, okay? So, can you imagine when the kids are playing this one? I'll stop it now. So, syempre, ako na yung na-excite, di ba? Ako na yung na-excite. I mean, it's it's not my first time seeing that, but every time I see the graphics, I get excited as well, okay? Now, as you, when you know, when you look at it, when you start launching it, okay, you would see at the bottom that there is this add to lesson part, okay? I will get to that later because this is one of the vital things that I will discuss after I show you what Twinkle Go can do for you, okay? So this is for the babies for 0 to 5. Now we're going to move on to the next level, which is 5 to 7. Babies pa rin to. So here, um, you'd see different activities still similar to that, but... Here, let's do jungle mats or yeah launch and let's see the game and let's go so number bonds to 10 so ibig sabihin ano yung iladagdag mo sa 9 para maging 10 siya. so obviously we know that's one and then there and then i am being challenged right now because <laughs> i have to be fast because everybody's watching 
<laughs> there. So I'm there. So I'll exit this one because I'm done and I don't want to answer it. If you have, if you have, I know if you want to look at other resources that's related to this, you can look underneath and see the link resources. And if you want to see one of my suggestions, you can look at the blurb below. Usually they would have links to other things that's related to the subject. Okay. So again, very interesting. Ano kaya tong add the lesson portion na to? Okay. So after going to 5 to 7, I click 7 to 11. Okay. So this is really a walkthrough of what Twinkle Go has and how, you know, what activities that you can do with your kids. So as you can see, Ito Monster Island, it's in K it's in zero to five. That's not so five to seven. Nandito rin sa level na to. It's because at the end of the day, it's how the teachers would use the activity. So remember, it is up to the teachers to adjust the learning materials to so that it will go well with the learning styles of each child. So kahit na parehas yung material na yan, at the end of the day, kayo pa rin yung gagawa ng paraan at kayo pa rin yung mag adjust at you know, mag implement ng lesson that would fit how your child would learn, okay? So let's take a look at what we have here. I am trying to steer away from multiplication tables, right? Because I don't like multiplication. <laughs> so there, let's see what we have here. Okay, this is for older ones and this is science and it's an interactive quiz. So I'm going to be launching this. So let's go, let's play. What is a light source? An object that makes its own light, an object that does not let light pass through it, an object that reflects light. Tingnan natin kung tama tayo. Oh, that's correct! Okay, <laughs> next, continue. How does light travel? In curved and straight lines? In a straight line? Or in a curved line? Okay, straight line. Let's see if tama ako. Okay, so I'm not going to go any further because I might make a mistake, but you can see that there are other suggested activities right over here. Wala yung nakalagay dito sa ilalim, but probably... The ones that are related would be worksheets or PowerPoint presentations. It doesn't have to be another Twinkle Go activity because when you're making a lesson, you don't just make, you know, all games. There has to have a proper introduction and the activity proper and so on and so forth. So you can definitely use this in your class. And again, that adds a lesson part right over here. So going back. There you go. And now we will have a 11 to 18 years old. So you will see the difference in the styling and in the artwork. You would see that the secondary would look really more serious. And um, there's the, the colors are standardized. So malalama mo kung pang matanda siya, like around eight, 18 years old or secondary, kapag ganito na yung styles ng artworks. Because, you know, in terms of coming up with materials in Twinkle, they really focus on what's appropriate for the child. Even the artworks and the layout and everything, you would also notice the number of words are lesser for the younger children, and as they go grow older, you would have more words and sentences in a in a slide presentation. It's because they adjust; they're made by teachers, and it really adjusts to the level of the child. But again, it would depend on you as a teacher, kung paano niyo siya gagamitin sa classroom. So let's try try to take a look at this Dragon Castle Puzzle Adventure ebook. This is quite interesting because. Um, kailangan mo magbasa, pero hindi na natin babasahin lahat. But I just want to show you that this is another thing. We're not just all games. You can also integrate the game and the activity. So if you want it to go around, uh, to be flipped on its own, you can click auto turn. And it's going to be turning and the pages will be turning on its own. There you go. So, and I, I can stop that anytime. And you would see... Kaya siya naging adventure book and interactive. You would see that there is actually a question right on here. So, can you find the items, right? So, if hindi, hindi alam, nahihirapan siya, you can have a hint. Click the hint. And really, this is for older children because obviously, the, the younger ones can't read this one. And you'd also see the styling of the art, the, the details in the drawing. there. And if, you know, the child, if we run out of time or if you're checking, you can just immediately click on the answer and it's going to show that those are the answers. See there. So that is for the older children. So now going back, we are going to look if you're if you don't want to look at, you know, age each age group and you want to see a bird's eye view of what Twinkle Go has, 
you can look at the collections and everything is on here. So this is kind of the summary of the available games and interactive resources that Twinkle has as of the moment. But we're going to be adding more, most especially uh, for the Philippines. So if you have any requests, again, you can message Twinkle Cares and let us know what you want and what you want made for you. So here, so we have until 10 to 11. But again, you can tweak it. It can be older. It depends on the teacher at the end of the day. Okay, there. So now the question is, how is this relevant to your classroom? Or how can the children actually have access to this? But before we get to that, I, wanna, I want you to take a look at this part. So we have featured Twinkles on Twinkle Go. And we have the most popular ones, the ones that have been downloaded a lot of times. And the new ones. So in case feeling nyo, nakita nyo na lahat ng Twinkle, Twinkle Go resources na, then you can head over to the new, new part. So you'd see the ones that you haven't tried before. And we also have blog posts just in case you get lost and you, you know, you, you're having trouble with figure, figuring out how to use Twinkle Go and how you can use it with your kids and so on and so forth. Yeah, this is the place to go. Right. So now you can just explore this page. So you see different in different uh, different ways on how you can maximize Twinkle Go. Moving on, how can your children have access to this? Okay, so a while ago, I've mentioned that I will give you three things. This is already the first thing that I mentioned to you, Twinkle Go. So usually, kung na-encounter nyo lang sa classroom, and so far with Twinkle are the PowerPoint presentations, printables, and, you know, the coloring sheets and activity sheets. Now you know that Twinkle Go is existing, and it's completely paperless, and it can be used on the phone, and it also can be used on the tablet or, or on the desktop. Pwede nyo siyang gamitin best as home activities because even though your children are at home, they can access this. And this is the exciting part. We have what you call the child login. But before we get to the child login, the child has to access something first. And how do they access these things? That is what the planner on the side is for. So here, you can take a look at this one. Okay. Once you click the planner on the side, you would see, see, I already have things prepared for you. That's why my downloads are all over the place because I tried downloading different materials from different age groups. And I did have a Go, Twinkle Go test run, so I can see it for myself if it's working. Now, again, we may encounter technical difficulties at times, but usually what I do is just refresh the page or reset the gadget. Uh, usually that solves, uh, that does the trick. Okay, so now, what does the planner do? And why is it magical and why is it important? Okay, when you are browsing, okay, when you are browsing and looking through, preparing for the lesson, you can actually add this into a folder or a lesson plan or to, to come up with a lesson plan. So this is my planner and I can add the lesson. So I'll just click here, add a lesson. And the lesson that I'm going to make right now is Ka'a Kapai live because right now we are doing it live okay so i could also tell the difference so this is kaagapai live and what if i want you to access if i want you to access this now please take note that twinkle go are the only ones okay that you can uh you can play on your ipad or, or on your phone because remember shemper we have printables so they can really answer that when they're when they're on the tablet Unless they have a separate program like Paint or something, so on and so forth. But the planning, this one, helps you come up with come up with a set of resource materials that your children, your students can access in the classroom or at home. So usually, halimbawa, kapag nasa bahay pa yung mga kids at yung parents pa yung ano, usually nagpiprint tayo ng mga modules. I mean, I don't really know how it works in some some areas, but if you want enrichment activities for your children, apart from the modules that we have that you're giving them away, this is a perfect way that the parents can en enrich the educational experience of the child. So I'll show you how it goes. So let's say I'm making a lesson for CVC, and I want to have an activity that they can print out at home. So I, I'll get this. I'll drag this over here, going to Akaaga by Live. Now, I'm still doing my lesson plan. I want to look for more activities. Ano pa bang mga activities na pwede for CBC? Oh, I like this book. So, 
I can just, even here, while on my search page, I can already drag it to Agape Live. Oh, I like that. And I'm so, I want the PowerPoint presentation. So when I introduce it to my kids, they can also watch it at home. Okay, I'll get this one, PowerPoint presentation. There. So it means the lesson that you did on, in the classroom can actually be, be sort of uh, recreated at home. I'm not saying replicated. Because, of course, the teachers are not going to do parents yung ginagawa niya sa classroom. But it can be a way for parents to support their kids at home because the inara niya sa classroom ko, yung materials na ginabi niya sa classroom na ipapadala niya sa kanila nang hindi kayo nagpipread, hindi kayo gumagastos, nothing, just a tablet. Okay? And and in terms of how they're going to answer it, it's the parents' turn to find out how it goes kasi marami din namang mga free applications that they can use. But here, they'll have access to this and you, on the other hand, you would have peace of mind that you're able to put your lesson together. So even before launching it or printing it, you, you already have something prepared for your class Classroom teaching and home teaching. So, sabay mo na siya nagagawa. Di mo na siya kailangan na magkahiwalay pa. Okay? But, again, syempre, iba ang teaching experience. It's still up to you. But this is just a tip that I, that I found useful on my end. So, now, I want a Twinkle Go activity for CVC. Now, I'm going to try to type hmm, CVC Twinkle Go or CVC game and so on and so forth. If I don't find anything here, I can just always go back to the Twinkle Go page. Because usually, it depends on the keywords that you're using. So for me, the best way is to just be as accurate as I can with what you're searching. And if wala naman siya, hindi talaga siya lumalabas. Sometimes going broad also helps a lot. So it's a trial and error in terms of your search. Because yun nga, uh, the, what Franco pointed out a while ago is there's the, the terms are different because it's UK-based. But we are working on making it more accessible for Filipino teachers para sa ating lahat. Okay, so now I'm looking for CVC words. I'm just going back here. And then, kung wala kong makita dito na phonics. Uh, here, phonics sounds. So, pairs game. It can be used for CVC. Pwede na rin siyang review. I'll just drag it over here. Kaagapay live. Okay? Now, now that I've already made a mock lesson, uh, lesson folder for you, I can now go to manage lesson, lesson sharing. But you'll see that I've already made a lot of lessons here because I use this with my kids. So we'll click to the manage lesson sharing. And this is the lessons, uh, the planner part, the planner, the planner page where you can sort out all of these things in all of your lessons. But please keep in mind that you can only have 10 folders and each Lesson folder can only accommodate 10 resources. Okay? There. Now, what's so relevant and exciting about this? Okay? It's because all you need to do is to give the pin code to your student and they'll be able to access whatever's in your folder. Paano natin to gagawin, okay? Another exciting part. So a while ago, I already showed you Twinkle Go. Now I'm showing you Twinkle Planner. We're on the second thing that you can utilize in school for classroom teaching and home teaching, okay? So how do you go about it? So if you, teachers, if you have access to another tablet or another phone, I think this is one of the coolest things that we can do all together. Going natin siya na sabay-sabay. I'm also going to do it uh, on my phone, okay? Para naman sabay-sabay uh, tayo na nag explore And also, kasi sa, makita din natin kung magkakaroon tayo ng technical issues. Hopefully, wala. But yeah, how do we go about it? So first, you have to go to twinkle.com.eh slash share. Okay, can you see it? So on my phone, I'm going to do the same thing. So twinkle, twinkle.com.eh slash share. Check ko muna kung, kung tama yung page. <laughs> there, okay. There, slash share. Now, you should be having access to this uh, child login. See that? Okay, child login. So I'm not so sure if you can see it, but um, there, you should be on this page, right? So now that you're already in the child login part, I am going to give you the pin. And this is the first way that you can share your resources to your children and that you can give access to the children that you're teaching at home. 
Okay, so child login na tayo. And then I'm going to go to the folder. Now, I will make this um, not live. Okay? I will share this with you. So the Kaagapay teacher pack, I will be sharing this with you. And you have to enter the pin. Okay, so share. I will share this one. Okay, and I will save it. Click save. Now that it's published, I am waiting for the pin, okay? So please zoom in on this. There you go. Focus on this. So let's all do it together. So KS2, uh, KS3, KS3, 296. Okay, so I'm also logging in using my phone, okay? So when I log in, Pag nag-login kayo, you will see this part. So sa taas, my username, may continue, wag kayo doon, okay? So I'm gonna try to log in by going incognito. Kasi may recognize ng device that I'm a teacher and I'm trying to access it. So I'm going, let's do it together, right? So, syempre nakalimutan ko na yung pin ko. KS3296, okay. KS3296. I'll log in. Yan. It's not case sensitive, so you can proceed immediately. So, paano yun? Nag-log in ako. Walang binigay si teacher. That's fine because I don't have a username. I'll just click, I don't have a username. And ta-da! Okay. I really want to know if some of you can already access this one. And let me know how it goes. But yeah, I've here, this, anyone, as long as you have Google Chrome, you can access this. Hindi mo kailangan maging member. Ang kailangan lang na member at premium subscriber is a teacher. So I am a premium subscriber. That's why I can share with everybody here in the room. And and you can see all of these things. I've selected this for you. So you can have fun and, you know, take a look at the things that you can do with your phone or with your tablet or if you're on your desktop, then have a go. So I also included the Twinkle Go product guide para syempre makita nyo rin kung ano yung meron. Okay, what's Twinkle Go? What can it do for you? What, you know the stuff that that you can do and what it has and what's it for. So you can have a look at it yourself. Now, let's see. Let's launch this. Okay. So to those who don't know, we actually have an ebook with audio. Okay. You sh iba yung audiobook sa ebook. Kasi yung audiobook is nahikinig ka lang. You just hear the story. It's just being I told to you. It's recorded. But let's see what an ebook with audio looks like. Stop telling fibs. A Twinkle Original. So a Twinkle Original is another product that we have. So these are storybooks that are made by, you know, by Twinkle it by Twinkle content writers and authors themselves. And the illustrations are original. So wala kayo mahikita nito sa ibang brand. This is genuinely Twinkle. Now, this is very useful for children na gusto nyo magkaroon sila ng alone time. So can you imagine... Now, when you send this to the parents at home, the parents would have their, a bit of an alone time because somebody's reading already for the kids. Now, this is the good kind of screen time that the children can have. So there's, uh, how do you say it, a little bit of peace of mind for parents at home and they're not too intimidated. But sa inyo naman, as teachers, what I usually do in my class kasi is I make learning stations for my kids because I differentiate my activities according to their levels. So some kids who can't read yet by themselves no, it would benefit from this. And if you want to conduct a listening activity or, or watching activity or whatever it is, listening and reading at the same time, this is useful. So just click auto turn. It's going to do its job. And you're just going to sit there and relax Tomek, a little bit. Hurry up and get ready, yelled mum from downstairs. I can't get ready, said Tomek. There's a grizzly bear in my underwear. Stop telling fibs, said mum. Okay, that's just a little... A, Get a in the car or you'll be late have. for school. Okay, so another thing that we have is this one. Let's launch this and see what we have. Crack the code. Let's go. Play. If the code for winter is... What is the... Okay. Now this one, I don't know this. I've never under, I've never tried this one, but some of the activities that we have useful, just like this one. I don't know how you're gonna use this, but have a go, okay? We're, we're going to go back and see another anagram challenge. 
And there. So, oh my goodness. What word is this? Let's check. I don't know. Give up. Umbrella! Oh my goodness. <laughs> I didn't want to think. Oh, let's go. Let's play. Okay. Okay. There you go. So, just some of the games that we have that you can do by yourself. So, hindi ko kaya nakikita. So, I don't know if you've already tried playing it and so on and so forth. But, yeah. There. Launch. Okay. So, uh-huh. There you go. Let's go. Ayun, nakikita ko na pala kayo. <laughs> I've, seen, I've, I've learned how to select the comments on the side. So, if you have any questions, if I can answer them along the way or... If your, if you have access to it, if you can see it, can you please type Twinkle Go if you can see it? Because I don't know if you have if you can access it. Okay. So here. There. Oh, look at that. See, it's uh, it's my first time playing this game. <laughs> this one. There you go. Look at that. This is really exciting. And then hindi ka na magsasayang ng paper because uh, it can be done. It can be done on the iPad. There. Yay, Jeff. You can see it. John, Paul. You can see it. Noemi. Uh, yes, Paul. Razel, Miss Razel Ida. Maganda po. Yes. Can you imagine when I first discovered Twinkle 10 years ago? I was just mind blown. Okay. There. Okay. So now we're going back to the... Okay. That's basically what we have for Twinkle Go. Now, that is one way for you to access or to give access to your children. Okay? One way, right? There is another way that you can. And this one may be a little bit uh, medyo tedious at the beginning, but it can be helpful in the long run, right? So now we're going we're going to go back to the kasi nasa incognito window ako I'm not signed in in my account so I don't I won't see the planner over here right I won't so I have to exit this one and go back to my this one okay now if you want to see the other things that I shared that that I have you can take a look at this one too okay okay everyone let's try this one KS2168 I'm going to try to open another incognito window well and so you can also see this one. Please access it. Let me know if you can. Here. Okay. PS2 168. Again. I don't have a username. Not yet. And this is what I have for you. Oh, it's still the same. The anagram challenge and peer electricity. So we can launch it and see what's going on there. Now, this is different. This is a video. Have a look. Okay. So, hindi lang tayo games. We also have videos as well. Hey, Gran. What's that you're working on? Eso. This is called an electrical circuit. Isn't it marvelous? Yeah. What is it? Well, Etta. An electrical circuit is a pathway that electricity can flow around. Shall we take a closer look? Oh. Okay. That's just one of the things that you can do and you can show your children when you're talking about electricity. Again, depends sa inyo kung anong lesson that you're going to be putting together so your your children can access it. And that's that's it. That's how you actually make your Twinkle Go, uh, that's actually how you will let your children access Twinkle Go. So, yung una nating paraan for them to access the folders that you created for them is through the pin code method. Okay? The pin code method does not require any other information apart from kung ano yung pin na ibibigay nyo sa kanila. So, hindi nila ma-access yan kung wala tong pin na to. And you also have a, the option of stop, you know, stopping the share. I stop, yeah, stopping the share. So I can stop it right over here. Para hindi makita ng mga students. And if that's not what you want them to see. Okay? Because sometimes, of, syempre, pag yung pin nakuha na nila, pwede naman nilang ulit-ulitin. But if you don't want them to access them anymore, you can just stop the sharing anytime. So you can focus on other, other things as well. And you have to remember that you can only share 10 uh, lessons, uh, 10 lesson folders at a time. So, yun lang yung, yun yung isa sa mga limitations niya in terms of you know, 
sharing the lessons also. Now, now that you already know this, let's explore the different folders. So this is what you have. And you'll see that when you click it on the side, you can edit it. Okay? And when you click edit, Lalabasto. So, Kaagapay Live, the description, and the subject, and the group, okay? Take note of this group later on. Because I made this one as a trial, so we would see the different classes, okay? And later on, you'll find out why. Okay, so you can edit your lesson, even if it's on, even if it's live. And that's just one way of editing it. You can also head over here and edit the lesson. So, either you go through the side, or you go through the middle. That's it. Now, moving forward, I've already shared with you the pin code method on how your children and students can access the lessons that you created for them. The next thing that I'm sharing with you, it's kind of a, a little bit, not uh, much complicated, but a few, a few more steps than this one. Okay, so I will head to the pupil management. Okay, now the pupil management, this is where you create your personal child login. So, hindi natin to uh, replicate right now because it means I would actually have to give everybody personal child logins over here, which we can't do. Uh, and then, syempre, hindi rin naman siya. It's not going to be working so well if sabay-sabay kayo -sabay mag in sa same username and password. But I'm, I just want to show you what's the difference, okay? So, this is the Kaagapay trial class that I made. Okay? And the panda, two children for for uh, who belong to panda bear class and two children who belong to the polar bear class, right? So, this kaagapay class, okay? Take a look at this. I added them. Now, we're going to add one more to the kaagapay class. I can click. I can click this one. Add pupil, okay? And the name can be, uh, let's say, K3. K3 student, right? And then... Agape try class one. Now, it's up to you what information you want to put here. Because the group can be kunyari, grade one. And then class A, B, C, D, so on and so forth. But this is just the trial one. And automatically, the username's already being created for you and the password. So you don't have to think of that anymore. And I just create it. And automatically, that pupil is already included in the Kaagapay group. Okay? Now, we're going to go back to the manager lesson manager okay right over here right over here and i can share and choose the groups na pagsha-share ko ng folder okay so let's say i'm clicking this one and i want to go to the kaagapay live and you will see when i edit it that you can choose kung kanino siya na na siya share so ibig sabihin if you're talking about a level, a group level, tas hindi naman lahat sila para parehas ng lesson, mapipili mo kung kanino mo siya i-share. Right? Okay? So that's one use that it actually has. Okay? Now remember, it might be a little bit tricky at the beginning, but you have this video to go back to. And later on, I'll actually be sharing links where you can find instructions on how to do it by yourself. Kasi it's kind of difficult if you're just watching someone else do it, but the best way for you to know if it's suitable for you is to just dive in and do it yourself, okay? Now, another cool thing and another cool feature for this one, okay, apart from groupings and sharing information and so on and so forth, is it can actually help with assessment. But the thing is, I cannot demonstrate it because... I don't have a class. And my students are still babies. They haven't done it. So maybe this can be a challenge for you to try it. Most especially if you're on premium. We have we have people, we have teachers here who are already premium users. And those who will be winning later on can actually utilize this in their class. So I'll click here and dito lalabas. Okay, ideally, yung time-stable results nila. Kasi, actually, this is an assessment tool. Right? It's an assessment tool. Now, when they get to play this one, then, automatically, nare-record yung sagot nila. So, kahit sabay-sabay sila, na sinasagotan nila, mare-record siya dito. Okay? So, there. That's just one way. Now, to show you how exactly it's going to happen, uh, I'm going to show you th these two videos. So ito, hindi ko pa ito napapakita sa inyo, but I'll show you this one. Hello. 
you might have seen the planner tool on the Twinkle website. If not, you can find it by clicking on this tab on the right hand side of the screen. Let's have a look at what you can do with the planner. You can create a new lesson by clicking add a lesson or by dragging resources into the tool. Give it a title and fill in some information about the lesson. To add resources to a lesson plan, just drag them over from the resource page, search results or suggested resources. Again, you can also drag resources over to the top of the planner tool to create a new lesson. You can also add interactive Twinkle Go resources. To find all of your lessons, click Manage All, which will take you to the Lesson Overview page. From here, you can share lessons with pupils. Just click Share on the lesson, then switch the toggle to get a sharing pin. You can share up to 10 lessons at once. Give this pin to pupils or parents and tell them to enter it at twinkle.co.uk slash share. This is especially useful for supporting home learning as you can share lesson plans with pupils and parents and they won't need an account to access them. In the lesson overview page, you can also edit and delete lessons or add new lessons. I hope this was helpful. If you have any problems, please get in touch with Twinkle Cares or take a look at the FAQ on the website. There you go. So that's how you're going to... Kung halimbawa naliligaw kayo, you can watch this video again. If you're on premium, you'll have access to this. So that's how you're going to do it. That's how you're going to make the lessons. But what I want to show you is this one. So let's go back to the Twinkle Go page. Okay. And if you're not so sure, you can actually research search instructional materials here. So if you're not so sure how to use Twinkle Go, you can look for how to use Twinkle Go. And surprisingly, when you search it on there, it pops up. Like everything that you need is just here. Kung may tanong kayo, it's just here. Kung hindi nyo alam gagawin nyo, just type it in the search bar. It's also just here. Okay? Now, this is what I was saying about the child logins. Ideally, if I have kids na sinagutan yung form, na sinagutan yung, yung activity, then this is how it, the child login is going to look like. The multiplication assessment is going to look like. Right? Ito siya. Okay? Now, because I don't have any kids answering it, and I can't give everybody <laughs> isa-isa, then hindi ko siya mapapakita sa inyo. But you can try it with your kids. If you're on premium, have a go. Let them try it. And kahit na one tablet lang yung gamitin, basta iba-ibang uh, child logins, then you can do so. There. So that's, uh, that's how you actually let your children access, number one, through PIN code. And number two is using personal child logins. So ano yung personal child login? Ito siya. Okay? Here. So if I'm, if I'm going to try to look for the username and the password, it's right over here. So I'm going to show you how it's done. Papakita natin. Papakita natin kung paano siya gagawin. Pero ako lang, kasi huwag tayo sabay-sabay mag-login. Mag and the best way for you really is for you to try it on your own. So I'm going to open another incognito window para hindi ma-determine ma at hindi makilala nung browser na nag-ano ako, nag naka-login ako. Okay, and share. Now this time, I'm going to look for a lesson okay, na pwede kong i-access. Right? Mapin natin lesson. So if you're if you're lost, you can just go back to the home page and then click manage lesson sharing. There. So hanap tayo ng live. Kung wala pang live, I can set this one to live. Share. Live. And then we're just going to save it and wait for it to go live. Then I am going to log in over here. KS. Three, four, six, two. Okay, log in. Okay? Now, kanina, when you accessed it, it says, I don't have a username because that's what I also used as well. So, dito na papaso yung username and password. So, we will go to the pupil. I'm going to try this one, CK3 student. And the username is Fry203. 
and then continue and then I'm going to click the password. So, ibig sabihin, if each child in your class, we begin yun na sarili niyang username and sarili password, it's already generated by the system. You just have to enter their names. And so, this is a password. Now, finish signing in. Okay? And my chosen password, I'll do one, two, three, four. So, dito, makikita na more than one folder ang pwedeng i-share. Okay? So, nakita niyo yun yung difference. Kung pin lang ang ibibigay niyo, the child can only access one folder. Okay? But, if you will create personal personal logins for your students, you can share 10, 10 folders at a time. <coughs> Excuse me. You can share 10 folders at a time. So, hindi ko na iisa-isahin sa inyo na, okay, ito yung pin for this folder, ito yung pin for this folder. Once you've already created a personal login for that child, that's it, yun na siya. Unless papalitan niyo siya, unless tatanggalin niyo yung account, di-delete ka, buwakin ng bago. But your child will have access to the lessons that you will allow them to have access to. Dito rin papasok yung groupings. Dito. So, I chose I chose um, these lessons to be shared sa Kaagapay Trial Class 1, kaya nakikita. Now, let's see. Sige, I'm going to try to log out. Okay? I will log out and try to log in using another account naman para makita niyo yung difference. Okay? Okay. Incognito window na lang ako. Ulit. Okay? So, twinkle go. Twinkle. Share. Again, if you have any questions, I can see... I can see your comments, so if you have any questions, I'll try to answer them. Okay. Good evening to everyone. So now I'm going to go back to the lesson. Let's try this one. KS2168. KS2168. Log in. And I'm going to use a different account. Okay. So try not to see Panda Bear. So it's best. 189. Continue. I'm going to paste it there. And finish. One, two, three, four. Okay. Now, as you can see, wala akong resource na na-share sa kanya. <laughs> Kasi, hindi ko share yung mga kaagapay resource sa iba. So, you would see the difference now. Why, you know, why this is also an advantage. Although it's a bit tedious at the beginning because you have to create one at a time and then give it to the child at a time. But then the access will be easier and so much better. Kasi, Ma access din nila yung mga ibang folders. So they can use it for reviewing and so on and so forth. There. So now that actually uh, concludes my sharing for Twinkle Planner and Twinkle Go. Now, do you have any... I'm going to exit this for a little bit. Just so... Uh, Sir Franco, I'm just going to exit this for a little bit. Just so, so I can say hi to everyone. Okay. Yes, you are live. Yeah. Yes. Okay, stop sharing. There you go. So, how is everyone so far? Uh, do you think so far? <laughs> yes, Mr. So far, sempre uh, so super amazed no, and really, really uh, wowed by uh, by uh, no, no, by by Twinkle. But but couple of things no. There are the questions in the chat. I tried to answer them, but of cool. course no. I think you are still the be the best no, the better uh, one the better person to answer these questions. Okay. Cool. And the first actually, question is coming from Miss May, and this yes. is in relation to uh, to LMS. Okay. So do we have LMS integration wherein um like scores okay, uh, um, or statistics or analytics from from Twinkle can be uh, extracted okay, uh, into their LMS um, grading system such as Google Classroom. Okay, so number one, I'd have to be really honest with you. I actually have no idea how LMS works. But if there's a teacher who would like to work with us on how we can integrate it together, we're very, very much welcome to work with you in making it compatible together. So, ngayon, wala pa. Pero... Okay. If obviously, Sir Franco, if we're going to work on it together, we're very much open to making it easier for everyone. So, well, ngayon, uh, wala pa. Yeah, thank you, Ms. Chris. No, although, they're the really proud, they're really challenged lang dito, Ms. Chris, and of course, to all our, all our viewers. No, that, for example, Google Classroom, no, uh, for us yep. to be able to have like an integration 
uh, Twinkle and Google Classroom integration that actually should come from the developers' end. No? So it's mm-hmm. actually Google who will have to decide that, not actually us uh, educators, unfortunately. Um, so maybe um, that's something that uh, could be something that can be looked at you know, later on by developers, okay? Um, but for the meantime, you can always um, use no Twinkle naman to to augment and to uh, to support no your your LMS or your learning management systems uh, for your classes, teach, uh, teacher May. This one is from teacher. Um, um, another question for a while. Uh, this one is from teacher Jeneline Landoy. Okay, teacher Jeneline ask, um, offline po ba pwede ito? Salamat po. Yes, for yes, yes, pwede siyang offline. So you can take a look at uh, remember I shared with everybody uh yung yung pin kanina for kaagapay kaagapay live. There is actually uh in the Twinkle Go instructional manuals that it can be used the, the, the Twinkle Go lang ha, Twinkle Go. It can be used offline. So once you've downloaded it, it's already there in your in, in the Google browser. But then it's not saved in the computer because we only use Google. We don't use any application for Twinkle Go. Google lang pwede na. Okay, so pwede siya offline. That's what I know. And that's what I've also read. Pwede siya offline. But if you have any, kunyari, if you've experienced it and nagkaroon ng problem, let me know. Because we can, we provide feedback based on your experience. Lalo na sa malalayong area sa school. Kung nag-work ba siya sa tablet. Kasi... Right now, compatible siya sa iPad. Most of the time, iPad. Pero compatible din naman siya sa Android. But again, if you encounter any problems in terms of user experience, let me know lang. Or let it go through directly through Twinkle Cares. It doesn't have to be to go through me then. Okay. Thank you, Miss Chris. No, and uh, just a follow-up question that Miss Chris, no, um, uh, is that are there like uh, downloadables or printable worksheets from Twinkle? Yes, we have. <laughs> yes, we are. Uh, that actually, the funny thing about that is, I thought personally, I thought that most people and parents think that Twinkle is just about downloadables and printables. Pero sa totoo lang, apart from the printables and downloadables and the PowerPoint presentation, we also have you know these augmented reality apps. We also have ito yung Twinkle Go, yung mga games that can be played offline. We also have assessments. We also have lesson plans. So, kung baga ready-made na siya. The key here is, because we're remember, we're lesson planning and preparing for the kids. The key here is, you can adapt it. Mababawasan pa rin yung oras mo sa planning because it's already made for you. And you just have to tweak it to the local curriculum because that's what we don't have. And admittedly, we're working on it. But, kunyari, the presentations, the PowerPoint, they're already made. I can I just translate it in Filipino, kung Filipino yung ituturo ko sa kids ko. And the same way with the other teachers here. Ang importante, nagawa na yung slide, itatype na lang yung kulang or i-edit na lang yung kulang. And in terms of in terms of the games, the games, the Twinkle Go games that you've seen, they will also be translated to Filipino very soon. Nice. Interesting. Expect that Something this year. To, to, so, to look forward to. <laughs> yeah. So, basta ang mahalaga po uh, is um, remember we're making this for you. If we don't get feedback from you teachers, we don't we have nothing to work with. So the key here is try it. The account is free. But of course, if you want to uh to use this, the planner in Twinkle Go, may bayad siya, which is 180 pesos per month. Kung monthly mo siya babayadan. And 160 kapag yearly mo siya babayadan. But this is... Can you imagine all of this access mo na siya 750,000 resources dumadagdag siya every month and there's so much to look out for because officially we are going to have our first con- Filipino content writer so I'll have someone with me here in the Philippines so and my Twinkle Teacher ambassadors they're actually here I'm going to give them a shout out we are going to be working together to come up with materials in line with Department of Education so there's so much in store. Ang hinihiling lang ako personally, ang hinihiling ko lang is number 1, gamitin nyo. Subukan nyo. If it's not working, tell us how to make it better for you. Because at the end of the day, isipin mo, if you have a resource that you need, just let us know. Tapos may gagawa na para sa iyo. Although hindi man siya tumating ngayon, but next year definitely you're still going to use it. So next year, hindi mo na siya problemahin kasi available na siya sa system. So, yeah. 
Yon. And then yes, they can be saved offline. We actually have an app on the iPad. So hindi lang siya online. Hindi lang siya dito sa browser. Yung Twinkle nasa app din siya. So usually ako mismo, nasa tablet kasi yung sa akin, sinisave ko yung mga ipiprint ko. And it can end. You can also print directly from your tablet. So yung iba kasing mga parents namin, that's how they go about it. They print using the tablet. Or yung ibang mga parents naman, they don't want to print. They just use Adobe. I don't know what software they're using, but they do the worksheets on the tablet or on the phone. I just, I'm just not familiar with the uh, application that they're using. Pero pwede siyang ganun. Pwede siyang gamitin ganun. Okay. Thank you, Miss. Uh, and in relation to that note, the idea yeah. of uh, being uh, like downloaded and printed, okay? This is a question from Teacher Jesus uh, Jr. Katangi. Uh, does it have copyright restrictions if ever we use resource that can be downloaded? Okay. Now, this is the amazing part, right? You can just print them and use them in your class. Pero huwag niyo lang siya ibibenta. Kasi, um, I mean, it's okay. We're going to be frank in terms of costing. We really made sure that it's affordable for the Philippines. Okay? In other countries, imagine it's per product. Ito, 180, kung manti ka magubayad, 180 pesos lang. Lahat na, lahat. From the games to the planners to the augmented reality, lahat ng apps, Rhino readers, ebooks, printables, lahat na. Walang copyright issues. Kasi when you print them out, the Twinkle logo's there. And we know it's uniquely Twinkle because all of the materials that we're making are made by a centralized uh, graphic artist team. So we would know if it's ours. So pwede mo siyang gamitin when you're teaching or when anything that's related to education, pwede mo siyang gamitin kasi malalaman naman din na Twinkle na si Twinkle yun eh. But please, ang uh, hinihingi lang namin is, uh, don't sell it. Because it actually defeats the purpose of making it accessible for other teachers. Um, yun lang. Although, malaking issue talaga that some teachers can't print them. But what we're aiming for is we can work together with the Department of Education and come up with these resources so you don't have to make them yourself. So yun yung gusto namin gawin. Kaya kailangan namin ng tulong nyo. If right now you experience it and, tell, and let us know if it's working, at least pag nagawa na natin at ginagawa na natin yung for DepEd. Para na din na tayo lahat para sa transition. There. Yes. Indeed. Okay, so, uh, and of course, no, uh, Teacher Jesus, no, in general rule of thumb naman talaga natin yan. Kasi sa education, hindi masyadong mahigpit ng copyrights, no? Okay? Basta gagamit natin sa education, okay? Not mm -hmm. for, like, uh, ano, no, uh, for, for profit, okay? So, do not commercialize it, okay? So, you are safe, okay? Uh, in general rule naman natin yan sa mga instructional mm -hmm. materials natin. Okay? So, maraming salamat, okay? And this one is from Teacher, sabi ni, uh, may magandang comment si Miss... Uh, Mami, no? Kasi Filipino teacher si Miss May din, no? Okay? Yes. <laughs> Fair opportunity rin pala ito sa Filipino teachers. Ayan. Okay, mukhang yes. marami na mag-apply. <laughs> As a matter of fact, um, we released, uh, we released uh, uh, a job, uh, parang a job offering. And our requirement is a minimum of three years for public school teaching experience. And it went on our newsletters. It went everywhere. So we had a really good number of Filipino teacher applicants. So please uh, expect a good uh, good resources kasi we got teachers who can help you talaga pero at the end of the day feedback niyo pa rin yung mahalaga okay kasi iba-iba tayo ng experience iba-iba tayo ng teaching styles we won't know what will work for you if you don't tell us what you need okay thank you miss and this one is from teacher John Paul Kabike uh, is there a possibility to improve or edit interactive games in Twinkle Go to align with our lessons? Okay, if you want, we can edit it for you. Just let us know what, how you want it, how you want it to be edited, because they are done not by us but by the international team. So, isipin mo, you're the ones who created the content. You'll be credited for editing it. Your name will appear publicly in Twinkle, and you'll be credited as the content writer and the editor and someone else will be editing it for you. Nice. Okay, that's very... But of course, the idea will be coming from, uh, from you, <laughs> pareto, Sir, Sir John. Paul. Okay. Yeah. It's actually a good, good, like, sort of like um, momentum no, for creating more contextualized learning materials for the Filipinos eh, or Filipino learners no, that, uh, again, um, uh, the team of Miss uh, Chris no, would actually want to promote in the Philippines. Okay? So, yes, no, um, yes, no, um, 
mas try nga daw according to Teacher Jesus Katangi. Okay, so so far, um, teachers, no? Please do let us know kung meron pa yung mga question. Ito may question from Teacher Leisel. Okay, baka lang pwede pa mas i-discuss ng konti. I Means, oh, sure. uh, Chris, yung tungkol sa pricing, kay accounts. Okay. okay? Um, hanggang kailan po ang free trial according to Teacher Leisel? And if they want to purchase, what are the requirements? Um, free trial is... There's no such thing as limits for the free trial. If you want to be on free forever, you can be on free forever. That's that's it, really. Um, you'll be able to avail of the free resources for as long as you're teaching and for as long as you're using Twinkle. All you have to do is to, to register using a valid email. Pwedeng DepEd email, pwedeng kahit anong email, basta working, and then a password. And then if you want to upgrade, kasama na lahat yon, the monthly Kung monthly yung payment nyo is 100, 189. Well, I'm gonna check right now. Baka mali ako nagsabihin. Pero 180 something siya. I'm gonna have a look at it right now. But if you're going to do it monthly, if you're going to do it annually, mas mababa yung pricing niya. 160 lang per month. Pero ang payment mo is one year na. And the payment options that we have, we have, we have credit cards, obviously. We have Gcash. We have PayPal. At the same time. So, yung Gcash pa lang, miss, ano na yan? Kaya yan na, pasok na yan. Okay, kasi yan ang laging hinahanap na payment mode, no? Ng mga teachers natin when they're like purchasing things like this, no? Okay? Yes. Um, and of course, so siguro, Miss Miss Crystal, no? Our teachers, when you dating, kasi some, of course, no? Kahit gaano ka, ka mura ng isang um, um, uh, product, mm-hmm. no? They would like always rethink about it. Pero teachers, okay, think of it as an investment. Okay? Kasi... Every material na hindi nyo gagawin, okay, means more time for actual teaching, actual facilitating of learning, or maybe more time with your family members, okay? Jowa time, kung may jowa, sana all. Okay? Uh, diba? <laughs> sana all. Special, diba? Those are yeah, time. Yeah, yeah. Na, na, na investment mo, okay, para yeah. sa sarili mo. Sabi nga ni Miss uh, Crystal, kaya no, no, claiming back my, ano, no, my, my, my time then for myself, yeah, okay? Yeah, yeah. Kailangan yun, important yun. Okay? So, teachers, pag mga ganitong klase ng investment, huwag nyo isipin na, nangyari, maglalabas tayo ng ganitong money, no? but again, gaano kalaki yung makukuha natin because of this. Okay? And I, I, I think, no, um, Miss Crisel already showed us how big and massive uh, are the things we're going to actually get from Twinkle no? with that just uh, yeah. amount of money. Okay? Uh, and of course, um, Sa kaagapay teacher support, no, abangan din natin, magbibigay din tayo ng mga free accounts no, para sa mga teachers natin. Abangan po natin yan. Okay. So, uh, by the way, Ms. Chriselle, in terms yes. of like, uh, ito lang, no, para lang ma-highlight. Okay? If Go I'm ahead. not going, if I'm going for free trial, okay? And I'm yes. not going for the, the subscription. What mm-hmm. are like maybe top two things I'm going to miss if I'm just on free trial? If you're on free trial, you you won't have Twinkle Go. <laughs> that's for sure. You won't have Twinkle Go. That's big. That's big. It's that's like massive. You, you won't have the e-books. You won't have... Uh, actually, kasi, sometimes they give some games for free. Sometimes. But obviously, it's going to be very limited. So you won't have Twinkle Go. You won't have the planner. Okay. Now, Miss, uh, when it comes to subscriptions, for example, mm-hmm. if I'm a teacher, for example, okay, mm-hmm. um, do my students also need subscriptions? Okay, or will my subscription allow them to have access to what I have access with? Okay. Now, the ones that I showed a while ago, the planner, they will be access. Uh, they will be able to access what you've give what you've given them. Don't sa folder na ginawa mo sa lesson yes. plan. They don't need to have an account. They just have to use the pin that you gave. They just have to go to dwinkle.com slash share and then they can access it. Kung ano yung ilalagay mo, yun lang. Di nila kailangan mag-register. Pero tayo as teachers, we have to be on premium to be able to enjoy this one. Okay. No. okay. So again, teachers, no? Again, yeah. okay. One account for you and then you'll be able to uh, bring the, the greatness, no, the amazing mm-hmm. resources of Twinkle. Uh, to your uh, students and we all want that and again more mm-hmm. time more time for other things kasi talagang kain ng oras talaga <laughs> ang pag-develop <laughs> is this. but of course teachers no we still encourage you to continue to also develop uh, instructional materials no kasi that's mm-hmm. also going to help uh, twinkle no to further um mm-hmm. ano no build more resources kasi sana mapaabot natin ng 1 billion resources <laughs> yung twinkle natin. No? Talagang, um, ano na, wala nang hahanapin pa ang mga teachers natin. Okay? So, teachers, okay, uh, actually, that now, ano no, um, we'll conclude our session, but before we do so, okay, 
uh, we'd like to first ask you no, to please send your thanks. No? Although, umuulan na ng pasasalamat, Miss Crystal, no, sa chat yes. ngayon. Okay? Um, uh, lang, so, wait lang. Wait lang. Kasi you were, you know what, I feel so bad. Uh, I have another thing to share. I know it's kind of late, but please give me 10 minutes. 10 minutes stops to do this. Okay? Yes, now, I mentioned that um, I was I was sharing three things, but I don't want the I don't want yung kapa teachers natin to have less time with your families uh, tonight. But I feel that um, this is very useful for them because some are asking for copyright issues. Some are asking for, you know, kung hanggang kailan nila free magagawa. I'll share last thing. One last thing. Marami pa ako dapat demonstrate, but I'll just demonstrate two. Two things, okay? And this one that I will demonstrate is included in the free account. How? Do you like to hear about that? Oh, no, sir, game? Give me 10 minutes and I'll do it. Okay? Teachers, are you still okay? 10 minutes. Can we do this? 10 minutes? I promise it's just going to be 10 minutes. Yes, please. Go ahead. <laughs> okay. All right. So, always ready for those things. <laughs> last time. Very, very, very last. Okay? So I am going to be sharing my screen right now. And I'm going to put this on the side. Okay? So I'll share my screen right now. This is going to be the last one. Okay, uh, okay, last na to. Promise. I promise. 10 minutes. 10 minutes tops. So I'm sharing my screen right now. Okay? Your screen's live now, miss. Yes. There you go. So now that you, you can see the homepage, this is my page, right? This is my page. And I've shared with you the Twinkle Collections on the side. And I've shared with you Go. And I've shared with you the planner that's over here. One beautiful thing that I'm going to share with you fellow teachers is right over here, more from Twinkle. And what is that? Welcome to Twinkle Create. What is Twinkle Create? Okay, Twinkle Create is, those of you are using Canva, this is Canva, <laughs> similar to Canva, not Canva, but this is Canva, eh, similar to Canva, okay, that you use for creating resources for your children. And what's amazing is it's included in the free account. So you actually don't have to pay for it. You can just create an account right here, right now, and you'll be able to have access to this. And gano kapiles gumawa ng resource? I'll show this video to you. Welcome okay. The Twinkle Create. Okay. It's fast. Welcome to Twinkle Create. Today, we're going to see just how quick and easy it is to use Twinkle Create by making a poster for your classroom in under two minutes. There are lots of templates available, and I'm going to choose the poster template. I'm making a poster for a class reading area, but you could easily make any other kind of poster you want. It could be for a quiet corner, vocabulary posters to support your lessons, or any other resource you might need. I can add a title and change the size, color, and font to suit me. Now, this tells me what the poster is for, but it's a bit boring. With Create, you can access thousands of Twinkle illustrations to really personalize your resources. You can also use images from the internet or upload your own. I'm going to try adding a background and changing the colors. Actually, I think it looks better with a plain white background. So I'll delete the pattern and then add a yellow border. I think this is ready to print and it's only taken me two minutes. I just need to give my resource a title, save and then download. Why not take a look at Twinkle Create and start making your own resources? There. So I, t I told you it's going to be worth it. <laughs> so in as little as two minutes, you get to make these kinds of things. And this is the best one that I like so far. Okay. So let's say I'm going to make an activity for my children. So start creating now. Okay. I'll create right now. And I want to create from scratch. So I'm just going to show you one. 
kasi hindi tayo matatapos kung ipapakita ko lahat. But then, because you're on free, or even if you're on premium, you can just explore and create your own. And you can, you know, just do whatever you want with it. So, I want to explore, search and explore. What do I like to make today? Hmm, do I like to make display banners? Do I like to make display materials or whatever? Or do I like to make certificates? Or I like to make flashcards. Okay. I like to make flashcards, right? And then what I'll do is I'll just try to take a look at what I have available. And kunyari, ano bang template or format yung gusto ko? Kunyari, I'm, I want this one, okay? So ano yung pwede kong ilagay dito? Let's say I'm making a flashcard for letters and numbers. So there, I'll add it. It's right over here. Let's put it in the middle. Right over there. And then, remember to highlight this one to make it bigger. I want to make it big, okay? And because this is an education site, we already have this available, traceable, active, traceable, traceable, ready na siya. And it's, it's for free, okay? Now, if I want to duplicate the text box, I can. And so I can just type it on here, same size, same everything, and just edit on here. Then the cool thing about this is one thing that we are struggling with the most when we make resources is the designs and the images, okay? And look at the images. If I'm going to search for Apple, it's right here. And wala po siyang watermark. Wala po yung mga line slides na nakikita natin. Okay. And then we're gonna do banana. But then I'm just going to remind you that some images that you're looking for, lalo na pag Filipino, it might not be on here yet because we're still working on that. But remember, you can just upload your own and add it on there. Okay? Now, if I want another page over here, I can just click duplicate page. Okay? And if I want to choose a certain design, this is fantastic. This is already an existing resource. See that? Existing na siya. So ang gagawin ko, papita ko na lang yung picture. And so on and so forth. And if I want to click on this, dadagdag lang siya, dadagdag lang siya ng dadagdag. And you can just edit it right on the spot. So see, this is just one of the things one isang demo lang yung pinakita ko sa inyo and the rest you can do it yourself you can explore it on your own and because it's so easy to use in as in as little as like two minutes you're you can come up with things already you can come up with resources already and the best part is the images look so adorable they're just so cute and you can use them right away so alimbawa ito apple shot i want to change it to cherry let's see kung may cherry dito oh there you go i can already change it Okay, now though, to those who are asking, this is available on Twinkle, Twinkle Create. So if you can't find it, let's say you're on the Twinkle page, right? You can just straight type here, Twinkle Create, and there, you're there. Okay, that's it. Now, if you want to look at the things that you've done in the past, you can look at my saved resources. And these are the things that I made like yesterday. I'll show it to you now, okay? Yesterday, I made this. So my template na rin ng games. And this one, the, the thing that I had in my mind is they'll, they'll roll it and then they either have to give something that starts with this letter or identify the starting letter of this picture. So because I'm uh, I'm think webinar series, actually, we're going to work on that because there's just so many things to talk about. And then here, uh, we're going to go back to whatever I made. So if you need certificates... We also have that available, so I'll edit it. There, you, and this one is what I uploaded yesterday. So, meron na po tayo, in, sa hindi pa po nakakaalam, hindi pa nakaka-download. We have already, uh, we have already the Philippine currency resource available, the printables available that you can use in your classroom. Here, so basically, that's what Twinkle can do for you. Even the writing lines and so on and so forth, you can edit it right over here. Tano, copyright, yung pictures, you can use them. Because you're teaching, right? You're teaching the children. As long as you're teaching, don't sell them. You can use it. In your presentations or whatever it is, use it. That's about it. So I'm going to stop my sharing right now because I'm just too excited to share everything else. Okay? And that's just too many to talk about. And 
That's it. So I hope um, that 10 minute extension is worth your time. And from this point on, my challenge to everyone is make your own resource, right? Yeah. Using Twinkle Create. So apart from use, utilizing what we have available, apart from editing them, you actually have the power to create your own. And it's just up to you how you're going to be using these things that we showed you. That's it. So thank you very much, everybody. Thank you, Miss. Na thank you, Miss Chris. Na definitely worth it, no? Sabi nga no mga teachers kaya hindi to, no? Uh, ano na? Uh, session, uh, session number two, please, for Twinkle Create or another session for Twinkle Create for us to be able to fully um, um, uh, explore it. No, don't worry, teachers. No, ako sabi pa natin si Miss Chris. <laughs> Madali naman kausap ang kaagap. Oo. Madali tayong kausap. Yes. No, we will definitely um, uh, ano na, talk about that. Sabi nga ni isang comment dito, all in one. Kaya ang bongga ng twinkle. No? Great. So much love. Thank you so much, Miss Chriselle. Ayan. So teachers, let's send our things now no, to, to Miss Chris no, at uh, of course, to twinkle, to twinkle Philippines. Okay? So abangan po natin yung mga free accounts. No? Uh, ipapa um, uh, pamahagi po natin yan sa, sa, sa kaagapay teacher, po, teacher support community. Okay? And of course, no, uh, part din no, ng uh, namin, no, Miss Chriselle, is uh, we would also like to appreciate no, what your team is doing, Kim, not only for bringing Twinkle to the Philippines, but also for uh, initiating no, efforts to contextualize uh, learning materials for our uh, Filipino learners. Siguro yung kasi pinaka-importan, nila na po sa akin, no, Miss mm-hmm. Chriselle, dala ko talagang medyo marubdub kasi talaga akong ano, yung pagka-Filipino ko. Kaya Ikaw talaga, pala dapat nagtatranslate ng mga yes, ano dito. <laughs> so, talaga, kasi talagang uh, pagdating sa, mm-hmm. sa education, I, while I always look up to to international and foreign uh, models and pedagogies and strategies, no, I mm-hmm. always look forward to having more Filipino-centered no materials, pedagogies, platforms, mm-hmm. etc. So I'm really excited for what uh, Twinkle will be doing no and uh, providing for Filipino learners. Okay? Mm-hmm. So and with that no Miss Chriselle, no, uh, we'd also like to present okay, our um, simple appreciation no for for you no as you uh, for spending your time no. I know you're so busy, okay? By the way, Thank no pa <laughs> sobrang tight po ng schedule ni Miss Chriselle na talaga. Uh, <laughs> Thank you so much schedule for your time. ni Miss Chriselle, but uh, still uh, here to to ano no to uh, give us uh, her I don't know, her time okay, and expertise and of course no sharing with us no twinkle okay so this uh, certificate of appreciation is respectfully awarded to Ms. Chriselle uh, Sisoyko okay, for uh, sharing her knowledge and expertise in the recently concluded webinar entitled Developing Instructional Materials for Different Modalities. At totoo naman, no, talagang kahit saan ka online, on-site. Okay? Awarded on June 23, 2022 to be signed by your administrators, Joseph Angelo M. Santos, Paola May J. Mendoza, Angelo B. Malyari, and Franco Nicolo P. Adun. Okay, so again, maraming maraming salamat Miss Thank you Chriselle. so much. Thank you so Siguro much. Siguro po, Miss Chriselle, nahuling hirit na lang, okay? Uh, aside from the sa hinihirit nila na, na session number two, um, sure. simple message po for our teachers who just, by the way, finish uh, the school year. Marami po sa atin ngayon, kakatapos lang. Okay. Pero, of course, no, okay. nagsisimula na mag-isip for next school year. Okay. So, um, first and foremost, thank you so much for giving me the opportunity to do this because... Um, just a little bit of sharing. I was younger. <laughs> I was younger. Okay. I didn't really want to be a teacher. I want to be a doctor. And there was a point, nung bata pa tayo, we want, we want to change things. Okay. Gusto ko pa maging president ng Philippines nung bata pa. Kabuti na hindi na, right? But then I've realized, as I was through in the education sector, I've realized that education is one powerful tool. And right now, it's such a wonderful feeling to be given this chance, this unique opportunity to work with everybody and affect change. I mean, hindi siya Miss Universe, pero ang sarap ng pakiramdam na yung, yung madaling buhay ko sa pagtuturo when I started is now I'm giving it a chance para sa ating mga kapaguro. Right? The same way that you're doing, Mr. Franco, as in amazing all of these talks that you're giving to the teachers for free, it's just mind-blowing. And it just feels so nice to be part of this change. And it it feels, ang sarap sa pakiramdam, sabi mo short lang, pero sasabihin ko na, when the Philippine Heroes customized resources and illustrations were released, sarap sa pakiramdam. And that's what I'm looking forward to. When I see that, okay, resources kinagamit, na maganda, na quality, na helpful sa mga teachers natin. It, it's I'm just looking forward to that and working with everybody here in this in this team. 
Now for the next uh, webinar, we're very much open to it because there's just so many things to talk about Twinkle. Siningit ko na nga lang yung Twinkle Create kasi kasama talaga siya but then I don't want to be taking much of your time. Now, if you need more information, we do have a Facebook group. You can join the Facebook group. And at the same time, we also have our Instagram and our uh, and our Facebook page. But mas marami tayo dun sa Facebook group and what we're trying really is to have a community of teachers. Usually dun ako nagtatanong, anong resources yung gusto nyo? Anong freebies yung kailangan nyo? Anong gagawin natin? So we want to make an environment for teachers that will be very conducive to learning. And because of that, ending this on a positive note, uh, I'm going to post a challenge. Okay, this is called the Twinkle Create Challenge. First 20 sharers of any resource that they use using Twinkle Create and sharing it on our Facebook group will get a free one-month account. And in terms of the freebies, just send me your email. Kung kailan niyo siya gusto ko i-activate kasi alam ko na wala kayong mga pasok. Okay? Give me the date on when I will activate the freebie so you can maximize it. But I suggest... If you're already planning your lessons, you can get it right away. If you're planning naman na. Pero kung hindi pa, just let me know. And uh, we can talk about the dates when it will be activated. First 20. So, Sir Franco, bukod pa to dun sa 20 na napag-usapan natin kanina. Okay? So now we have 40 freebies up for grabs. And I'm turning you over to Sir Franco. And again, thank you so much for everyone. Thank you. Maraming maraming salamat. So let's uh, send our thanks now to, to Ms. Chriselle. No? And um, paalam na po tayo kay Miss. Okay, salamat, Ms. Chrisel, and uh, hope to see you again uh, here you so at uh, Okay, so teachers, uh, maraming salamat for joining us no, uh, in our session for today. Okay, uh, and before I end our session for today, no, just me just invite everyone okay, for our talagang sunod-sunod, no? talagang si Sir Franco, si sunod-sunod masyado yung mga learning sessions natin. <laughs> teachers, okay, uh, ano na po, ano? Um... Let me call this, okay? Uh, last now for the week, okay? So we have uh, our 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 um fourth session, okay, for our June series, okay, on uh, Saturday. That's going to be the post-pandemic classroom and learners, okay, uh, transformation and innovations, okay. Uh, Sir Alwin and I will be discussing what is uh the post-pandemic classroom is and what are the post-pandemic uh, students, okay. So we will be profiling the classrooms and profiling students, okay. And how do we respond as educators no, to this um, um, classroom profiles and student profiles? Okay, so I hope that we can all still see each other no, on Saturday. No? So kita kits po tayo on Saturday, teachers. Okay, and of course, teachers, some good news lang no. At uh, first time ko pong i-release yan dito sa um, session na po nito, no? Okay, is that um at yung pong first CBD event natin will be happening next week already. That's June 28, 29, and 30. Close na po yung um yung registration for that key. And then we have an ongoing registration key for the second event, which is on July 12, 13, and 14. That's with um with class point. No, that's also a CPD event. Key. Pero ito lang teachers, key. Abangan natin on Monday. I will be posting the third CPD event na po natin. Okay, that's going to be for July as well. Okay. Uh the third CPD event will be Google Workspace Essentials. Okay. So I will be um uh, doing uh complete walkthroughs of the most essential tools key from the Google Workspace um system okay or platform po okay so abangan po natin yan okay uh, and yung pong that's going to be a longer uh, longer um uh, event okay so it's not just um uh, yung usual na 5 CPD events po natin okay so mas madami pa so kayo uno mas nakakaalam na may mapopost on Monday. Okay, so abangan, paki-mark na ang calendar, okay? I usually post those things around uh, in the afternoon, okay? So expect po natin siguro mga uh, 2 p.m. or 3 p.m. lalabas na yan, okay? 2000 slots lang po ulit. Okay, 2000 slots lang po ulit, okay? Um kasi po uh, si Sir Franco po ang nagbabayad no ng registration niyan sa CPD. At uh, it depends on the large size no ng uh, size ng participants. Okay, ganun din po kalaki yung binabayaran ko ano and, and ang kaagapay teacher support no uh, for for that. Kasi hindi ba namin masyadong malakihan but soon kapag nagkaroon po tayo ng sponsors or um uh, ano no uh, collaboration, okay? We'll try to expand it to at siguro at most 5,000 participants. Pero for now, pa 2,000 2,000 participants muna tayo. Okay? So, yeah, maraming maraming salamat teachers and uh, I'll see you on Saturday for our next session. Okay, and now, let's proceed to our evaluation link, teachers. Okay, please do let me know if the link is working. 
uh, and if you can access our uh, evaluation link. If there, if you cannot, let just let me know, okay? So I can do something about it, okay? So uh, please evaluate at https colon slash slash uh, tinyurl.com slash js22 part 3. And thank you, teachers, yung feedback niyo po um, para malaman ko kung nag-work po yung ating link. Maraming salamat po, Pastor Manny, no, for that. Okay. Nako, teacher RM Annalizel, um, nahihatuloy ako bigla kay teacher RM. Kasi si teacher RM Annalizel, napaka-ano rin yan dito sa atin. No? Um, always with us. No? Pero yan, makakasali po. Yan, teacher Mary Grace Casil, maraming salamat for confirmation na nag-work po ang ating link. So, teachers, maraming maraming salamat po ulit. No? For those who have ended their school year already, congratulations po. Maraming salamat. Okay? And, um, Para po sa mga nakatanggap ng awards, no? congratulations din po sa lahat ng mga tangkatanggap po ng mga awards natin. Okay? And of course, no, uh, give yourself some rest po, no, okay? uh, no matter how, how, how little, okay? kahit one week lang yan or two weeks lang yan, sulitin po natin time for family, time for uh, selves. And of course, no, mag, uh, try po natin mag-restore ano, no? mag, mag ng ating mga energy kasi next school year, panibagong laban na naman po tayo. Okay? So please teachers, uh, stay safe, no? Stay negative from COVID-19, but always always stay positive in life. Okay? Uh teacher Madeline Bakalya, I will also be putting it in the um link right now. Okay? Ah uh, in the chat right now. Okay? Syempre, no madaling kausap Sir Franco eh. Okay? Tsaka hindi ako makahindi talaga sa mga teachers natin. <laughs> Parang uh Ano ako, nakukonsensya ako pag nag ako sa mga teachers natin. Kaya teachers, huwag niyo akong masyadong inaas ng favors kasi mabilis ako mag-yes. Okay? Pag sinabi niyo, kanyari, Sir Franco, sayo ka naman, mapapasayo na po ako dito. Or pag pinakanta niyo, baka mapakanta po ako dito, teachers. Okay? Anyway, so teachers, maraming maraming salamat. No? Please, uh, so see you on the sa Saturday po. Alam po. Yeah. <laughs>